crazy? It's possible. <laughs> what if nobody comes? Then we go broke, become homeless. That's... that's exactly what I'm afraid of. It'll be fine. If we build it, they will come. And if they don't, then it's work for food. You can hold the sign. No, you can hold the sign. All right, I'll hold the sign. How was the drive up? Beautiful. Great. Ready for last look? Yeah. I want to show you something on the way. Remember this spot. During the spring and fall, this is the best whale watching place. They migrate from Alaska down to Mexico. Pass about a quarter mile off here. Looks like there are hiking trails all up and down the coast. Everywhere. But you know, you never want to turn your back on the ocean. What's that? Big waves, completely unexpected, come out of a perfectly calm sea. There's one or two people that get swept away every year. Okay, let's go take another look at the house. Susan, come on, let's go. I think that's why we're here. I'd like to sleep on it. <laughs> are, are you kidding? No. But, honey, you've been pushing this house for the last six months. I know. But I'd like to sleep on it. If that's okay. <laughs> sure. Here, here. Turn here. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't want the other house. I want this house. <laughs> uh, do you have any reason to think this house might be for sale? Like a sign? Fine, but I don't think anyone's here. There's no car in the driveway. So that doesn't mean anything. The fact that nobody's answering does. Okay. Now we're coming back tomorrow. She's lost her mind. May I help you? Oh, yes. We, di we didn't mean to disturb you. We're curious about your house. Wonderful house. Ever run jam a garbage disposal? On occasion? Good. Come on in. Come on. Come on, come on. I love this house. Arthritis. 
this all really ticks me. You're not from around here. No, we're uh, up in San Francisco. Ay, ay, yuppies. I guess we are. <laughs> or we were. We're moving. Got to open one of those bed and breakfast places. How'd you guess? That's what yuppies do up here. Done. Well, I'd offer you some coffee, but I don't drink coffee. At the end of the day, I'd like a martini. Would you care to join me? We'd be delighted. This is spectacular. It certainly is. I seem to appreciate it more with each passing year. How long have you lived here? 51 years. I raised three kids here and half raised seven grandchildren. And I give myself, oh, another 3,000 or so more of these sunsets. That's 10 years. Now, you were curious about this house. Mm. Nothing really, just curious. I suspect you'd like to buy it. I never want to leave here, would you? No, I wouldn't. No, my children want me to live closer to them. I have a daughter in Phoenix. The men there wear green pants. Come on, can you imagine that? <laughs> Nope. When I leave this house, they're going to carry me out. I can't really explain it. I just saw the house, and it called to me. Maybe it was calling out to someone else. Nope. It's perfect for us. Yeah, but the house isn't for sale. And even if it was, I, I don't think we could afford it. What about if we used every single penny we have? Well, that and life insurance and retirement. Oh. This is about commitment, right? Your career, my career. We walked away from all that. It's about our marriage, doing this together. We've already risked everything that counts. What we're talking about now is money. Uh, is that all? I want to go back in the morning. <laughs> it's gotten into you. She said her kids wanted her to leave. She also said she could care less. She was happy there. I like that. I think we'd be happy there, too. We already got us moved in. The second I saw it. Okay, go on, Lenore. And there'll be fog in the early morning up to Fort Bragg. In local news, a Willits man was arrested on Highway 20. Fire department will be holding their annual open house at Pancake Feed this Saturday morning from 9 to noon. The next weekend, the village will host the fourth annual Art Walk and Wine Tasting. Local artists will display their work on Main Street. Dance featuring the Red Rose Ranch Band will be held at Range Hall and Cash Park. If she were home, she would have answered the door, don't you think? Maybe she's back here.
Mark, there's something wrong here. Yeah, you're trespassing into someone's home. Lorraine? I'm gonna see if she's all right. Be my guest. I'll be right here. That way I can be available to bail you out. It appears accidental. She fell in the bedroom and gouged her head on the dresser. Made it as far as the bathroom and bled to death. I'm sorry. She seemed like a wonderful lady. That she was. Now, her daughter's name is Carolyn. She asked me to give you her number. Why? Well, I suppose they'll want to sell the house. Oh, I don't th think we... Not after this. Call me if I can be of any help. Thanks. Probably get a good price. Don't even joke about it. Yeah. You wait. Two months from now, you'll be saying, whatever happened to that house? Don't count on it. Mom spent 50 very happy years here. I'm sure you'll be happy, too. It's now officially yours. Good luck. Drive carefully. I will. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Great big sign. Bed and breakfast, no vacancy. The no vacancy part should be permanent. Absolutely. <laughs> Shall we? Cozy, huh? It will be. You know, even with all our things gone, it still feels like Lorraine in here. <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. How much time in the sun? Lorraine. Thank you. 
fours up here. Hey, hon? Yeah? We're heading up to Fort Bragg to pick up some fixtures. What did you, uh, what do you think for the bathrooms? Well, I think we can get them knocked out in about three weeks. One of my tile guys has disappeared up by Boonville, and we gotta find him. Disappeared? Uh, he's doing a little farming. Personal plot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you take a look at the joists, or whatever they're called? Yeah, great shape. Framing, beams, solid redwood. Some joists are Dougie fir. Is that good? That's good, that's good. You got a good house? Bye, hon. You guys have a nice drive. I'm your nearest neighbor, even though I live a mile away. I'm Susan Enright. I'm Dorothy O'Hara. Just thought I'd stop by and say hello. Have we met? Don't think so. I heard you and your husband were turning this place into an inn. Yes. <laughs> you should do well here. I hope so. I'm the next house down the road, if you need a cup of sugar or you just want to talk. OK. OK. Dorothy? Yeah? Does anyone around here own a big black dog? Black dog? Not that I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Isn't this just about perfect? So do you miss your high-powered job? Every time I see the TV, I think I was devoting my life to that. Ready to be an innkeeper? Fake it. <laughs> to be out of our minds? Now we'll be OK. We'll be OK when some money starts coming in?
something. I just felt something strange. <laughs> Black dog after you again? Shut up. <laughs> just for that, you can go freeze your butt off and let Max have it. <sighs> go on. Okay. Stay where it's warm. Jeez, it's kind of cold in here. Draft or something. Fire went out. Yeah, it's out. Hey, no biggie. I always do that. Didn't I say I just felt a draft? It wasn't a draft. The fire was going strong and then it just went out. No, well, a draft could have come down the chimney and went changed directions, created a vacuum. No oxygen. Hey, it's an old house. It's gonna have a lot of quirks. You think? Yeah, I do. I want to build you a fire that'll stay lit. I saw that. Unless I'm crazy, that led to a widow's walk. What's that? Ah, that's where a widow could watch for her husband's ship to come back. Years after it sank. <laughs> that's loyalty? Of course, it was also a good place to make sure your husband didn't come back early and surprise, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Why do you think they closed this room up? Well, they had a fire sometime back. Just remodeled after, I guess. Didn't want the roof open. What about that door? Access to the attic. We'll open that up for you. Check it out. Found yourself a nice knocker for the front door. Cool. Looks like it got burned in the fire. Oh, well, you clean that up, that'll look great. I'm impressed. With what? You got more on the wall than you got on yourself. Hey! I'm called for. It's called for. I'm going into town. We need anything? Paint thinner. Got it. Oh, I opened up the attic. We might have to have a garage sale. There's a bunch of junk up there. Oh, yeah? Anything good? No, there's an old bicycle. It looked pretty cool. Mm -hmm. When you get a minute, you should go up and check it out. Okay. Okay, see ya. Beer! Get beer! Got it. Power back.
Doctors say I've got burns on my spine. It's 120 volts straight, no chaser. So how do you think it happened? The breaker for that circuit was off. I turned it off myself. Is it possible you switched the wrong breaker? No. I checked the wires with my tester before I touched a thing. There was no juice. Explain it to me, because I don't get it. There's nothing to get. He threw the wrong breaker. Check it yourself and switch where the study is on. But he said he tested the wires. <laughs> Bull, he tested the local pot harvest. I don't think so. Then what? You're saying that switch turned itself on? There have just been a lot of strange things. No, there haven't. There's been nothing strange. What? The black dog? No. The fire going out, the thing in the attic? Would you not use that tone with me? Well, then don't start with this stuff. Look, I know you think you saw a ghost when you were a kid and you believe in all that, but I don't. You, you think Lorraine's spirit is still in the house, that she never left? Is that it? I think it's a very real possibility. She died a violent death right here. Oh, that's great. Be sure and spread the word. Haunted B&B. &B. You can check in, but you can't check out. We're sure to get a lot of business when this gets out. Keep it up. You can be a real jerk. You can be a real bitch. I'm going for a walk. Come on, Max. Let's go. Yeah, this is Max. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful, aren't you, boy? Sarah Warner. Oh. Mark Enright. Does he ever get tired, just refuse to go get the stick? Usually my arm gets tired before he does. How bad? Are you from around here? Long time ago. Nice to meet you, Mark Enright. Come on, Max. Let's go home. Let's go. Hey, jerk. Are you talking to me? Are you a jerk? Sometimes. Like when? Like maybe this afternoon. Maybe? 
like this afternoon. Is that an apology? That goes without saying. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Yeah? stories and haunted houses and ghosts and things like that. Right. And what did I think about it? You come home and laugh about them. Because all that stuff was fake. But I had an experience when I was a little girl. And it was real. And it was a ghost. I saw it. Look, I don't know what you saw. I think you probably had a very vivid, very real nightmare. No. I'm sorry, I can't believe in something I haven't seen. And I haven't seen a ghost. I know. I hope you never do. But I did. We didn't come here to fight. What did we come here to do? We'll spend more time together. I'm not fighting. what they call a sensitive. I am was a sensitive as well. I knew that about you the moment we met. I think you knew that about me, too. And what do you think about my house? Maybe the remodeling has stirred something up. That happens. I don't think it's Lorraine. But you said there's never even been a hint of anything strange before. Maybe it's you. It's possible that your presence started this. That's a really unpleasant thought. How are things between you and your husband? Stress, especially emotional, can make you sensitive again after years of not being that way. Well, we came up here for our marriage. We were both getting too busy with our careers. I was gone all the time. And he had an affair. I'm sorry. You know, this whole thing could stop just as quickly as it started. And what if it doesn't? What if it gets worse? Well, then get out. I can't. <laughs> it's not an option. Everything we have went into the house. If it's not Lorraine, then it's someone else. I just gotta find out who. A lot of people lived in that house over the past hundred years. Yeah. I gotta do some research.
Excuse me. Are you open? Nope. Will you be open soon? Yes, ma'am. Just as soon as I run up the flag. May I help you?
I don't think we need to take any nudes. Then we don't need to take any. Of all the old newspapers there going back about a hundred years. It was a huge scandal. How did Jeremiah die? Well, the paper said it was natural causes, but he was only 42 years old. Just three weeks after her. It wasn't so uncommon for a guy to die young back then. I think he died of a broken heart. He was young, he was handsome, he was successful. And he was completely in love with his wife. He built our house for her. He must have died of a broken wallet. So why does she kill herself if Jeremiah is so loving? Olivia suffered from melancholia. From the moment she entered the house, she never left it. She was always miserable, always depressed. Like she married the wrong guy. No, he was completely in love with her. He would have done anything for her. He tried, but I think he couldn't take it when she was gone. Well, I'm so happy you did all this research. What a cheery house we have. It's very romantic. I don't think we'll stress it in a brochure. How's your drink? It's fine. You want another one? Uh-oh, why do I think I'm about to hear something that will upset me? I don't know. I'm gonna go to the John. Can I wait till I get back? Yeah. I'll get you another one. So, let's hear it. Okay, you know how I've been feeling strange about the things that have been happening in the house? And I thought it was Lorraine's spirit. Right. Well, it's not. It's Olivia. Remember Gary Jensen? The parapsychologist? The guy you used on your series on the supernatural? Yes, exactly. Well, I invited him over. When? driving up to Eureka next week, so I said he should stop by. Hey, it's cool. You know, I'm mad. <laughs> I like Gary. I'm gonna like him even more when he tells you our house is normal, and that you're completely out of your mind. Look, we have a lot of work to do before we open up. Could you maybe cool it with research trips until we really get a handle on things? Sure. <laughs> Unless I find something interesting. Come on, I want to show you something. I, what? Just come on. Honey, you're it's freezing. And you're a little drunk. But watch yourself. <laughs> Not drunk. <laughs> Just a little spiritual. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. That's our home. Okay. 
No, I mean, that's our home, and you're my wife, and, and I'm lucky you're here, and I was bad, and you forgave me, and I love you. And I brought you out here just to say that, in front of our home, underneath the stars. One more thing. The uh, B and B agency called today. Uh, first week next month, things are kind of tight, so they refer to tour group, full house for five days. What? And you didn't tell me. No. <laughs> you said no secrets. No. You said no secrets. No. No. No, no secrets. Uh, ever. Okay. And where, where are we? <laughs> For a while. I don't think so. Well, what are you gonna do about it? I slept great. Would you like to go for a walk? No, thanks. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm all stopped up. There go. Dinner's in an hour. Okay. I ain't gonna take an exposure of that old picture of the house. I can make an enlargement and be good to frame. Oh, yeah? Have you seen our guest? That's it this morning.
bumped into her this morning. She said she was going for a walk. Should we be worried? No, we're innkeepers, not parents, right? I mean, she could stay out all night. It wouldn't be any of our business. Susie, I feel horrible about this. Well, you should. He was the sweetest dog. You're blaming me? You left the gas on. I left the heater on. And the door open. I didn't. And how did he get in there? I don't know. Sorry about last night, what I said. It's all right. I've just been very on edge and uncomfortable since we've been here. No. We just had a string of rotten luck. Yeah. I looked for Sarah this morning. She never came back. We can't launch a search for someone who could have just as easily hitchhiked to Fort Bragg. You don't know anything else about her, other than her name? No. We're not open yet. We don't even get our registration forms until next week. Well, Warner's an old Mendocino name. I'll ask around. What about a driver's license? Some personal effects? Nothing. I checked her room. She didn't leave anything. I've got a picture. Why are we here? Don't know. Don't remember. It was about you and me. About giving this marriage a chance. It was about your secrets. That's why we're here. Nothing happened. Really? Why should I believe you? She wanted to know if she photographed well. I took a few headshots and that was it. So why didn't you tell me? Because I thought you'd be jealous. I didn't... I didn't want to put something in your mind. Well, you know what? It's there. And it doesn't matter to me if anything happened or not. Because you promised me. No more secrets ever, didn't you? Sleep in another room if you want. Go ahead.
And? Come on, open the door. I think we should talk. And come on, don't don't be this way. Be this way. No, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the damn phone and we're going to cancel the reservations. It's going to take weeks to clean this up. I didn't leave the water on. Damn it, Susan, you left the water on. Own it. You screwed up. Like you left the gas on. I flooded the house like you killed Max. I guess so. Where are you going? I'm going to pick up some very big fans. Why don't you open up some windows and get some air circulating in here and then pick up the phone and cancel the reservations. We don't want any paying guests showing up, do we? I don't think I didn't notice. What? I'm still wearing mine. We have fiber padding. It all has to be replaced. Stairs, living room, everywhere. He thinks maybe he can save the carpets, but everything's going to come up, though. How long till we open? At least a couple of weeks. I'm going to have to take that job. See ya. I'm leaving this afternoon. A couple of days of camera tests in the city, then I'm off to Death Valley. I'll be back in ten days. Do you think I'm lying about leaving the water on? No, I think you forgot. And all the strange things that have been happening, none of it even gives you pause. I think... I think you're very unhappy. And I don't think you ever forgave me for my affair, and it's been coming out in a lot of odd ways. So I'm crazy? I didn't say that. Good. Have a wonderful time, and I'll try not to burn the house down while you're gone. Why don't you do that? That way there'll be something to sell when I get back here. Hell, I might come back at all. It's getting harder and harder to answer that. Bye.
And no Sarah Warners to be found? Well, there are some local Warners, been here for generations. I asked if they knew of a Sarah. The last one to live here was over 100 years ago. You drowned in the ocean not far from your place. Well, I guess that's not ours then. I wouldn't think so. Okay, thanks for checking. Let's assume you're correct, that what you are experiencing is actually this spirit of Olivia Hastings. I think you may be able to help her. Help her? Help her rest. Many spirits, especially suicides, are trapped here. In limbo. They can be helped to the other side. How? Yeah, we'll go Joe? I'll see some of the soup and make up some prints, will you? What's your rating? 2,000, some of that new high-speed Hikon. I wanted to check it out. Got it. Is this great? That's great. It's me. I'm in. I wanted to say I'm really sorry. I'm thinking about you. I love you. And I want you to just erase the last couple of days and forget they ever happened. It's you she seems to be trying to communicate with. Be open. Don't be afraid. Be open. Let her in. Be as relaxed as you can if you feel a presence. And if you can find something that belonged to her, that can help. Okay. I'll try. All this advice assumes you're correct. That? That it's Olivia Hastings. That she's trapped here, that you can help. It could be something entirely different. I don't know if I want to hear this. But you need to. And I don't mean to frighten you. Have you ever wondered if Lorraine's death really was an accident? Maybe you shouldn't go back there. I'll be all right. That's my house. My home. I feel it's Olivia. If you should change your mind, you can stay with me. to color, okay? You might have some bad stock here, man. Check these out. No, these are okay. But what's this? I don't know. Same stuff. I've never seen anything like it. it look at this. I want to see that negative. If he finds me, he will kill me. There is no safe place. He says I am his to have or to destroy. He is cruelty, a monster. The day of our wedding was the darkest day.
He has his mistress, my friend. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. And yet I am true. Oh, God, I hear him coming. I am lost. May God have mercy on my soul. Mom, pick up the phone. Yeah, uh, for Mendocino, for a Dorothy O'Hara. Come <laughs> on. 
I think for my official report, I just say fire of unknown origin. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Did Dorothy say why she crashed? She said she swerved to avoid a dog. She said you'd understand. We'd like to see her. Sure. She's a good Sam in Fort Bragg. She's gonna be okay. You need anything else from us? No, I've got what I need. What did he say to you? He kept asking me to forgive him over and over. For what? For killing me. He beat Olivia to death with his cane and then set the fire to cover it. My God. You think they're at peace now? I don't know. You want to stick around and find out? No. Well, let's get out of here. Her too. I don't know. East. East. East is good. Are we broke? Okay. Just don't have any money. Put that in there? No. 